Hi everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the voice recording function that is available in the Egdis. And please watch the video till the end where I will show you how to actually go into the Egdis and activate the function and then how to view the recording as well, what the recording looks like. So I'll show you that as well. All right. So the voice recording function in the Egdis is the capability of the Egdis to store and reproduce certain elements required to reconstruct the navigation voyage and verify the official database used during the last 12 hours. This function is separate from the voice data recorder. The voice data recorder or the VDR, which is also known as the maritime black box. And that is uh, in the form of several separate but interconnected units. And it provides data regarding the position of the ship movement, physical status, command and control of a vessel over a period leading up to an incident. So these are two separate things. So the EGDIS should be able to reconstruct the passage plan and the voyage for the last 12 hours. And it should record at one minute intervals the information regarding the own ship's fast track, including time, position, heading and speed and a record of the official electronic navigation chart using the or including the source of the chart, the addition date, uh, the cell and the update history of the chart. All right. So this is important to know that if the EGDIS is for any reason turned off uh, due to some malfunction, then the voice recording function will also stop unless you have a network backup system on your ship, which will take over the function of the master EGDIS. In that case, the voice recording will continue, including an entry in the electronic log for all the alarms that were activated and reset during the switchover. I will talk about the electronic logbook in my next video on EGDIS, so you don't have to go into that now. So the recording function can be used for many reasons. So it can be a documentary proof of what happened in the run up to, let's say if you have a collision or an incident or an accident of the vessel, you can also use it as a post incident analysis. So you can see your own ship's position can be displayed as well, all the track targets and the data will allow the reconstruction and analysis of the own track and target track. Uh, you can also use the recording for training purposes, such as uh, maneuvers uh, during birthing or transiting difficult sections of a passage can be used for training and familiarizing the officers. You can replay the voyage for crew training and for system familiarization. Uh, you can use it for risk assessment, especially the shipping company can use it for risk assessment. Uh, however, like I told you before, it should be recorded at intervals of one minute. Now, of course, that uh, it is a requirement that the recorded information cannot be inaccessible uh, to uh, or can has to be inaccessible to make any kind of alteration or changes. So preserving voyage files should follow procedures for archiving data. And these are small files. Unless you have radar overlay, you can actually store these files in a small USB. The master can do it, but you cannot make any alteration to these data. So you cannot change any data. You have to keep it the way it is. It is only used for uh, the purposes that I mentioned before. Now on merchant ships, uh, we normally use uh, the handwritten records for data recording, such as logbooks. We have different kind of logbooks, ships logbook, uh, GMDSS logbook, bell book. You can also have mechanical recording, uh, for example, using the coast recorder, the echo sounder recorder, then you can have the continuous automatic recording through the voice data recorder or the maritime black box I told you about. And then you have the electronic recording, which is the EGDIS system. So remember that the SOLAS regulation requires that if the records of navigational activities are not maintained in the ship's logbook, they should be maintained in another form that is approved by the flag state. Now methods of recording should be permanent and maybe handwritten, electronic or mechanical, irrespective of the method of recording, all input records should be protected by means to prevent them from being deleted, destroyed or overwritten. 
in general information on any event or items which are adequately recorded in a special purpose log need not be duplicated in the ship's logbook all right now these days of course the softwares are available for some exist systems which provides the voyage data recording capability without the need for operator action the captured data can be replayed for analysis training or presentation and typically this data is gps gyro and arpa data but may also include the speed log the data is automatically recorded compressed encrypted in one hour chunks and settings are applied to automatically delete the oldest data after a defined interval which is normally about a month so during voyage replay all exit switches can be used as normal to manipulate the chart change vectors and overlays the recorded data is the actual data received during a voyage now before i show you how to actually go into the exit and activate this function i just wanted to highlight these three imo resolutions which you see on your screen where you can actually go and find more information about the performance standards for voyage data recorders and exit systems as well as guidance for the recording of events related to navigation this is where you will understand the legal requirements i have already mentioned it to you i have mentioned it in a summary so that you guys don't get bored Uh, and i don't want to present these uh, resolutions because these are long resolutions and it may be very boring uh, i want to quickly go into the exist and show you what is a recording or how to do that but uh, be aware of these uh, imo resolutions and have a read of it before you go for your oral examination maybe to get more understanding about the recording or the concept of recording and monitoring the ship's movement during a voyage which has to be done in real time and be able to reproduce when required by the inspectors or the auditors or any other investigation authorities so keep watching and i'll show you the exit recording as well so you can see here how the recording function of the exit looks like this is the exit displaying a recorded voyage and it can be played at a faster speed so to do so just go into own ship go into voyage recording you can see here you can either start a new voyage or you can go into the voyage list and select the voyage you want to record and it will record the voyage so you can also uh, record the voyage in form of text where you can go and you will see that it is recording at every minute and it records in the form of text you can print this out and you know the the positions are recorded the course is the speed made good the essential data is recorded uh, for the voyage which you can reproduce and show the post trade inspector so just go into own ship go into voyage recording and then you can either resume the current voyage or you can go into the voyage list select the voyage and you can press the replay button which you can play at the required speed you can make it faster or slower and uh, the voyage it will have of course some limits and when you start it you can see uh, the replay is on it shows the replay is on then you just press the play button and you can see how the voyage is being replayed for you the entire voyage will be replayed so you can keep this recording to show the investigators in case they come on board to check your vessel